Here on Hospital Row, vaccination clinics are back in action after the province ordered them closed over the holidays. The head of Ontario's COVID-19 task force now says that was a mistake and promises there will be no more days off as the province eyes having 8.5 million people immunized by the summer. We've heard the voices of the people of Ontario saying get on with this and that's what we are going to do. The province shut down clinics on Christmas Day and Boxing Day, saying it was hospitals that asked for a break and a lack of staffing was to blame. But with vaccines sitting in freezers, the government faced some heat. We're seeing about a thousand or so vaccinations a day, and so that's a couple thousand that we're behind. Ontario already has the lowest vaccination rates across Canada. Just over 14,000 doses have been administered overall. Retired General Rick Hillier says the province is now playing catch up. The goal is to have one million of the most vulnerable Ontarians vaccinated by the end of March. That's phase one. Phase two will see 15 million doses during the months of April, May and June to vaccinate 7.5 million people. In phase three, everyone who wants a shot should be able to get one at any doctor's office or pharmacy. I think we can get to a lot of mainstream Ontario by, by later July. Certainly in phase two, we will get at a lot of the people in Ontario who don't have underlying conditions who are not the most vulnerable, who are not most at risk. Officials expect 50,000 doses of the Moderna vaccine to touch down in Ontario tomorrow with shots in arms within 48 to 72 hours. The hope is that it can provide some help in long-term care homes grappling with second wave outbreaks. There is such a susceptibility to this virus in long-term care that has been you know, ongoing throughout the entire pandemic. Really, this is the, the only strategy we have. This doctor says the Moderna shot will play a critical role in the province's ability to meet its vaccination goals. You can push it into long-term care. You can push it into small hospitals. You can push it to the north. You can put it on trucks and send it to people with vaccine clinics in that sense. There are currently 19 hospitals where vaccines are being administered, soon to increase to 23. The Associate Chief Medical Officer of Health said today so far, no long-term care residents have been vaccinated, and it's not known which homes will receive Moderna's vaccine first.